first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is Mr. Ron McLaren, Chair of Humanism in Scotland. Good afternoon. My thanks to the presiding officer, Willie Reynolds, and all the members for the opportunity to present TFR today. I was going to say, I hope it's okay, that I haven't been fondled in the way that I was earlier on coming into Holyrood with the frisking and so on. Very nice. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> my tribute is to you and the Parliament. In recent years, via my personal inclusion as a secular humanist contributor to four NHS-related initiatives and publications, because in 2003, cross-party concerns about NHS cost inflation inspired a scoping study. Who in the biological garage cares for the non-religious? It brought secular whole person approach to all faiths and none, broadening the chaplain's role, testing their single faith allegiance and comfort of their spiritual homes. But spiritual care was born, transformational. NHS allied professional silos were set aside. E.g., a non-religious patient seeking help, sorry, but I'm not religious, brought neither am I from the spiritual care chaplain. Civi garb, no clerical code in sight, a secular NHS alive and well. The Harmony Project involving mainstream faith and beliefs. <clears throat> Where is the common ground? A secular approach, no one privileged, all eager to accept each other's right to be, reluctance to bridge foundational differences, so on what would we all agree? Unanimity emerged, the golden rule. Jo Cox was the epitome of secular inclusion. Her words of unity more relevant now than ever before. Probably the best role model, the individual who inspired relationships into buttresses of inclusion. Her words of unity more relevant. The individual who inspired those buttresses, everyone was a member, creed, race, color, gender, etc. It didn't matter. All were treated as part of Joe's human family. And 24 seven, no barriers to engagement, sadly brought to an untimely end, that mindset of extreme political ideology, envied her outreach and in reach, democratic rights viewed as evil. Belief in dialogue, secular vision was needed. Focus on changing social society, a diversity mix of faith, belief, and none. The importance of dialogue, understanding, and acceptance. A wedding I conducted at Ochtemuchti in the nearby gaze of Sir Jimmy Shan's statue, everyone was from Mukti. Ochter, cast aside, dismissed. An old Scots dictionary, Ochter is the high ground above pig rearing. Scanning further, the game changer. Och is a frustrated, oh yes. Och, TV's crap, I'm a wad in my bed. Och, your heaven, I'm a wad in the pub. Och, yes, the acronym in aviation, obstacle clearance height. In astrophysics, the orbiter common hardware. And it suddenly dawned on me, och, our common humanity, a universal label, our single species, given requisite fertility, members from opposite ends of the earth, procreation is assured. Now, how common is that? 
It's undeniable. TFR, right now, is an all-inclusive mantra, affirms secular inclusivity for all, and no privilege except via the democratic process. But sadly, secular is often misrepresented, wrongly tagged as aggressive, posing a threat to ensure superior moral monopoly is preserved? Not at all. Its militancy is a myth. It's inclusive. It's secular. MSPs, Scotland needs you to go well for our common good. My hope you become truly secular. Outcomes will get better and better and better. Oh. Thank you.